tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Johnson. Johnson. TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey guys, we are here at AfterBuzz doing another after show for State of Affairs, Season 1, Episode 2, Secrets and Lies. I'm your host, Steph Z, and tonight on the panel we've got... Robin Ayers, Hannah, and English. Hey y'all. Hey guys, we're a little sorry we're bringing the show to you a little late tonight. We had, uh, we watched the East Coast feed, and I'm sure a lot of you out there know that it was interrupted by President Obama with the Ferguson situation, so we had to figure out how to download it on the fly and get the episode so we didn't miss anything. So we're a little late, and we apologize. But ladies, <laughs> what are your overall views of this show? What do we think? Are we liking it? What do we think? I loved it this time. <laughs> this really time, did. it took you a while? <laughs> well, okay, listen, I liked the last one, but this one I loved. I mean, I was near tears by the end of this <laughs> yeah. episode. If, you I was, was. if I was by myself, it would have been... Just you can cry with us. It's know, okay. Yeah. I'm a really good hugger. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Just in case you ever need one. Really good. I actually liked it from the, the from the first episode. Really? Yeah, many of you don't agree, but I, I don't know. I see something in it. First of all, I like the whole bossiness of the two women in power. I think mm -hmm. everybody likes that. Yeah. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm always rooting for that. But, um... The storylines, you know what I mean? Is I, I like anything that can, that can just like dig you in, like bring you in and right. make you think. You know, I like it. So, well, yeah. I will leave my English. comment unknown. English is, I think, a little <laughs> undecided. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. I you was are, a fan. Okay. I was a big fan of it last week. As soon as we saw Katherine Heigl walk out, I felt something different for her rather than her previous characters and I was yeah. I was into it. I'm like, she's gonna be a strong character. We see her character developing now. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like her character's developing in a way where there might be some shade. Yes. Yeah. There's okay. definitely <laughs> shade. And maybe that's why I don't get it, because I'm like I'm thinking like, okay, she's like the fixer of the show, but then actually she's doing dirt underneath. So I'm like I'm confused. Yeah. My mind wasn't prepared for this. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> but I'm along for the ride. I'm not leaving. When you signed up for State of Affairs, did you think it was going to be like a bunch of people cheating on each other? <laughs> I just, no, I mean, I thought it was going to be a little bit like scandal a little bit. Right. And this episode proved to me that it's not. Oh, yes. okay. It's a lot more... It, it scandal is kind of like surface. There's a lot of drama within the people. Right. And this show is, you know, last week we were dealing with the doctor and his issues. And then this week we're dealing with um, the guy in the submarine. Right. So I feel like each week it's yeah. with the briefings, it's targeting yeah. something different. It has a yeah. few little elements of the blacklist, if you guys are familiar with that. It yes, has some it elements does. of that. I haven't as well. seen that either, yeah. but I do like it. I like that they are taking it a step further or a step different from some of the other shows yes. and and showing us these situations and, and how things happen or how things could happen, I'm mm -hmm, sure. Yeah. I mean, it's TV. I'm sure it doesn't happen exactly like this. <laughs> right. But, you know, like, I really like that. And so let's get into that. We see a couple scenes. First of all, it's an action-packed opening again. Yes. I love that. Which is, we were, like, so getting ready to put it on the show. And we're like, wait, is this part of the show? Did it start? Like, I like <laughs> right. how it just, it just throws you right in there. Yeah, yeah. it does. Um, and I think we're all fans of that. And there is a lot going on. And as we begin to see... It's like they're throwing us all the pieces of the puzzle, mm -hmm. so we're kind of just like putting them together. But I think we still have a couple pieces like yeah. hanging out out there, being like, "Where does this fit?" Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Did you notice that right after that first opening scene, which I think we all loved, we were but we were kind of like a little bit confused, like where yeah. is this gonna go? But notice how they went straight to the dining table where she was dining with the president and and the husband, right? right? Mm -hmm. She is, that alone is telling you she's living this, like, double life. Yeah. Right. So right. even if you take it back to the very first episode, listen, l look at how she was at the bar 
and she was doing her dirt and stuff and then she's you know how she was with the therapist and stuff it was like um they were both correlating like the same sort of storyline yeah. as to who she was yeah. yeah but then okay so you had that little cute scene i thought it was cute that uh that whole beginning i liked the uh the tone of the, of the show how they brought right. that in yeah but if you take a look at how she was acting and then all of a sudden she's like this professional woman she's right. working I at the cia you. yeah you know yeah. exactly it was just she's such a double life so when you said shady earlier exactly yeah. the point mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying like yeah. she's got a little shade to it yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and i feel like you know let, let's talk about that scene and then we'll we'll talk about the submarine all together but let's talk about that scene with dinner with miss president or potus and mm -hmm. i guess the first man yeah first, I guess yeah i guess so. we can call him that i, I guess we <laughs> that's call him that. so weird to hear. <laughs> aaron's dad we yeah can call yes. him aaron's dad <laughs> yeah. and clearly it's aaron's birthday and they're having this birthday celebration and yeah that was for me the first when they cut to her being like, I promised, and it was like, you know, Charlie didn't want to lose this feeling, the mom wanted justice, so for me, yeah. that was like, oh, she wants justice, yeah. and the dad wanted to find out what happened. So clearly, I feel like this submarine story might be foreshadowing that she had to make some sort of decision, and yes. the decision in being better for the country and for yes. her job yep. might have meant Killing her fiance. Yeah, you know yeah. why? Because so crazy. because remember they had a whole True. brief already ready in place to go, which we didn't know the stories that they were gonna send. She came in the next day after that and wiped everything off the brief and was like, okay, what was it called? Nightfall is gonna be number right. one page. Mm -hmm. And we see, we see. So nightfall, there's this submarine apparently. Apparently, it's a Russian submarine mm -hmm. that has wandered into U.S. territory waters, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's. Trying it's you know trying to get signals from these fiber optics of that's how we transmit all of our secrets and lies and our war secrets and stuff like that so they're just getting all this information mm -hmm. and they um nighthawk is that his name nightfall, nightfall. Oh, yeah. is part of a, you know he's one of our guys and he's trying to tell us this is happening help me but we see that again in trans this information going back and forth. Charlie wants to help, but she doesn't. You know, like it's a very go ahead. What are you saying? And then she lies to him. So it even she goes lies. back That's to that whole just... random yeah. shady yeah. thing. Yeah, but she, she lies. Yeah. yeah, she lies a lot, just like how she lied at the dinner table, saying that she yeah. promises. And it's almost like a salesperson <laughs> lie. Yeah, like that enough. It's not like That's she's just. <laughs> like lying, like straight out lying. It's that sales pitchy lie. Like I'm gonna tell you what you want to hear, right? To make the situation non-confrontational. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's why they they have the right character for her because yes. she's not meant to be like a liar. She has to play that role. Right. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. They have the perfect character for her. For that. right. And another thing that's going on, and I like there's a lot of things happening simultaneously in this. We see her getting this text message picture right. of her and Nick and Fada. Yeah. Fada, Who Fada, do we think Fada. took the picture? Uh oh, what you got? What well, you got? Because first I wanted to say, so we found out that Fada was a member of the CIA. So there was yes. that yes. whole relationship yes. between her and or him and Charlie. Mm -hmm. And then I, I created a whole different element for her with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. I felt like they're Maybe he did betray her. You know what I mean? Or well, but we see the scene lines. more. What you're talking about? We see the scene where she's being dragged, and he's almost asking if you're okay. Yes, yeah. he did. So it's like he's on her side, and then we see Aaron pointing a gun. Right, right, and it looks like he's pointing it. He's got to be pointing it at Fada. and Charlie. maybe to try and yeah, but maybe Fada is taking Charlie away and. Charlie knows she's safe because she's got this other relationship with Fada, but Aaron might think, oh my God, Fada is taking Charlie. Go, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, so let's much. save for predictions because I have I know. Okay, okay. Well, save, save yours. Right. We'll this is it. what I think because the, the camera is giving you the viewpoint of Charlie, right, Charleston. Mm -hmm. So he's pointing the gun directly at the camera, mm -hmm. meaning to me that he's pointing the gun at her. Shh, that's right. my prediction. Okay, so <laughs> right, but, but meaning that Fada might be with her. Yes. Well, that's, that's clear. Yeah, yeah, it's clear because okay. they're in the picture together. Like, so it's all unraveling. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're take fine. Your, your prediction, but no, yeah. you're fine. No, yeah. I mean we agree. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and also, <laughs> I want to see. I want to see a little bit more of the relationship. Like, who's this Sid character? I mean, Robert from Sex and the City. I just, I can't ah! break that. Oh, I Richard. Got... No, Richard. Oh, I totally okay. broke it. It said Robert. It said Richard. <laughs> I seriously think 
it is her father. Like that's I know good. That's I really, good. Really, really do. That's, yeah, that's like, a great I thought theory. Last time that there was that fatherly relationship between them, and there was something about their exchange. And when she showed that picture, like the text message that she received, he almost seemed disappointed in her that yeah. she was with Nick and yeah. Fada. Like, what are you? She didn't like Nick. She or he. He didn't like Nick, and he kept going back to that. Even in the garage, he was like, Nick is a bad guy. Stay away from him. It seemed protective of her. Like, I wonder if I he know. used to work in the CIA with I think th- so. them, and something happened between him and Nick, and that's why he's not there anymore. Oh. I, yeah, I think he's, he's some kind of ex-government <laughs> official. He yeah, has to he be, has because to be. look at like all the resources uh, that he's oh, able yeah. to bring to the table. Yeah. yeah. But also, I mean, uh, to your point, it was really cute. You know how you like a father would call his daughter kiddo? Yeah. yeah. He says, uh, like, I don't need to know kiddo. Like, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I thought the same thing, too. Yeah. 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 No, I agree. There's, there's some theories. deeper relationship going on there. For sure. Um, I thought it was really interesting as well when we saw the president you know, after Charlie came in when she was leaving, you know, they just poke in there again, like, have you had heard anything else about Fada? And she's just like, nope. So it's like, we see her mm-hmm. kind of brushing it off at the birthday dinner. Then yeah. we see her straight up lying to the president because yeah. she yeah. got the text. Yeah. And, so, and I just want to make one point. If you guys... I don't know if you guys felt this too, but every time the president asks her about Fada, it's not... A, I don't sense, like, she's like... Like saying like no, I, but I'm trying. She gets like a overwhelming like feeling like, I don't know. It just seems like her character like she's just like she's definitely lying, but yeah. she also seems like stumped almost, like nervous yeah. too, like super duper nervous. Because and the president, I could tell by the way that she kind of said, oh okay. I think she's on to her a little bit. Okay. Like we'll see later on when she yeah. has those yeah. people following her. Right. Well, so, right, because the, it did show a little bit of that as yeah. far as what's to come this yeah. season. Yeah. And you right. might be right about that, but am I the only one who thinks that the president might be in on something other than what they're portraying? I didn't think so. Because I don't think it. she's as innocent as what it's, you know, what we're seeing on, on screen. I'm looking a little bit deeper into it. I think it. so too, because. Alfrey's character, I mean, just as, like, all her previous characters, she always plays, like, a strong woman. And this episode, I was like, she just, I don't know if it was just the acting or maybe it's, like you're saying, is more into her. She just seemed like she wasn't, like, she's, like, explaining something so serious, but she wasn't mad about it. She was, Mm -hmm. like, kind of smiling. So Mm -hmm. it was kind of like... I agree with you guys about that, but the only thing that makes me think no at this current point is that it's her son that's involved. I don't know. People are shady. Okay, but listen. Yeah, because the thing about it, listen. Something tipped me off. On the last episode, when they were, when they finished the memorial, and she mentioned, they had the conversation uh, between the POTUS Mm -hmm, and Charleston. mm -hmm. And she said, by us, by you killing him, it'll make us both killers or something like Mm -hmm. that. It's almost like maybe she had to sacrifice Mm -hmm. her son or that operation or something. Awful. It wouldn't. I I know. I hate to even say it because I don't want (laughs) to. Do you need some more tissues? I'm just saying. I mean, I'm really looking at all options here because um, it's deep. You know what I mean? The storyline is really deep, so I think you got to look into it. It's really deep. I've just found, and I don't know, maybe I'm just resisting, but I feel like normally it's a lot of people up to the president that are dirty, not the actual president. You don't think so? I don't know. I mean, man. think about real life. Listen, you have such a good heart. Right. Think about real no, presidents, like in ones. real life. They're yeah. dirty, right? But they're but they're, <laughs> they're making decisions that maybe are dirty or not, you know, the most ethical or moral decision. But they're not, when it comes to their own self, I don't know, like, I feel like it's always, like, the vice president that's dirty or the secretary of state or the CIA person that's dirty so that they're filtering the information dirty up to the president to I make a decision. I think the president with- is the most dirty because he can blame it on everybody else, and no one would expect that from the president. Do you remember the oh, very no. first, or the scene in the very first episode when they were all in the, I guess you call it a convoy? Um, right. Yeah, right? yeah. The president was there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why was the president there? That's what I said. I don't understand why. It was four people in the car. It was Aaron, it yeah. was Charlie, it was the president. But we still and don't know exactly what that mission was. Yeah, yeah but, but why Why would the president be with right. CIA aides? That's true. 
That's weird. And she's not protected. Where are, where's Secret Service? Like, where's exactly. all the people that come along with the president? We're going to have to keep watching and find <laughs> out all gonna... these answers, aren't we? We definitely yes, we are. <laughs> um, someone mentioned during the show that they think Aaron is alive still and the one texting. Do we, do we no, want to go was there? Me. It was yeah. Do we want to go there? Let's I mean, I know we're, we're talking a lot of predictions right now. We're kind of just throwing stuff out, but it's the, the second episode. We're trying to figure out which right. way it's going to go. Yeah. So just right. bear with us out there. Tell us your what your theories Please. are, what you guys think. We'd love your comments, questions, Go thoughts. on iTunes. Yeah, go on iTunes. Give us a bunch of stars. Like us. <laughs> all that stuff. But... Okay, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> we, we like what you people have to say. You might have, because we watch the show and then we talk about it right away. So sometimes the stuff doesn't process. Like mm -hmm. last week after the show, it's like, oh man, I should have said yeah. that. And yeah. It's too late. Yeah. It makes so much sense why you said that. It struck a chord in me when you <laughs> said that. I was like, maybe it is Aaron. We don't know because it, it doesn't show what happened to Aaron after he was shot and mm -hmm. he was laid out, right? Yeah. It doesn't show that. But she made uh, comments to Nick that says only two of us know you know like when the, the whoever was texting her was sending her certain things and she says there's only us we're the only two that know mm -hmm. but maybe Aaron did find out I mean I don't I'm really going into that no, theory yeah. a little bit but um yeah it just, and maybe he's being held hostage or may I don't I don't want to say he's the doctor because I know yeah. someone in the comments have made like oh. a little yeah. comment saying that the correlation between Aaron and the doctor I don't know but yeah. I kind of have a feeling Aaron may still be alive and he may be mad at her because she was having an affair with Nick. Ooh. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll, we'll see how that develops. Let's move a little bit into the submarine situation. We have a little bit of a shorter show tonight because of our technical difficulties that we couldn't get the show. Right. But I feel like this is something, again, where it's a common theme of this sacrifice mm -hmm. of having to make really tough decisions for the better of the people, so they want us to feel. But we do see, again, Charlie's character act in a way of lying, of telling Nightfall that, you know, I do remember you. I do remember seeing you. After you left, my dad said you were a hero. I mean, as much as that's a lie, I kind of think that was the right call. The guy yeah, that die was for a him. good lie. That yeah. was a white yeah. lie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little white lie. It broke my heart, but it was a good lie. Yeah, like, yeah. what are you going to do? Be like, oh, yeah, I totally don't know who you are, dude. You're just a name, right. like, with a little call, like, nickname, and I'll see you later. Sink a submarine for us. Like, you can't just say that. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. She had to build them up a little bit. And whoever, by the way, played that, uh, whoever Nightfall is, I got to give you, I got to give it up to you because you played that role. I mean, we were all oh, emotional, you know, watching it. So that was really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Which, by the way, I'm sorry, just a quick question. Did she lie again saying that she was going to deliver that message to his daughter but never really did she sat in her car and watched the daughter and played the message well i think yeah. at that moment wasn't the right moment to give to the daughter because she was out there with like a boyfriend. the guy yeah, yeah. she's yeah. happy she's stuff. happy yeah. yeah it's like and when is the right time to ever deliver that message i agree right yeah well, we'll see if that happens too i like a sentence that the president leaves us with the truth is what we determine it, it to be no truth the truth <laughs> is what we determine. It lies mm -hmm. not in the facts, but in the telling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like we have the power to tell the people what the truth was is pretty much what she's saying, which is kind of sketchy. <laughs> and that's the kind of thing that I think that the president does. It twists the truth. I think they tell the people something to calm them down or to instill fear or however they want the people to act, but something like killing their kid. I don't know. I just don't want to believe it yet. I don't want to believe it either, but... Um, I don't know. So, yeah, and we also, real quick, we just want to touch on that we get a new character tonight. We get Raymond Navarro. Mm, the new CIA. CIA. Yeah. Yes. I don't trust director. him. Director. I don't trust him either, and it makes me not trust Lucas exactly. even exactly. more. Yeah. Because Lucas knew, and he, like, clearly oh, yeah. he was debriefing somebody else or briefing someone else, and they got fired, and he was still there. So he knew what was happening. There's a mm -hmm. lot going on. Yeah. And it's his knew. friend. And it's his friend. For, yeah, there's there's a lot going it's on. There's a lot going on with that. I'm looking forward to that, un, you know, unraveling. As yeah. well as I know one of you guys mentioned with Maureen, there's a little bit of speculation. That's
speculation That's my prediction with her. there. Okay. Yeah, I'm Should just, we get into predictions? Yeah, let's wrap into predictions and then uh, we'll move on. So we're, so here we go with our nice and little now, predictions music. You're after Buzz <laughs> TV. Predictions. All right, yeah, you had the best one. You go first. All right. <laughs> Maureen is working with Nick. This is why I think that. Two two situations. The first one was, was when Nick was in the office with Charleston. Mm -hmm. Maureen saw that. She was giving him some sort of feel, right? Mm -hmm. um, or some sort of eye, like, what's up with that? And then she told Maureen, I saw him with the uh, having a meeting with the secretary or leaving the meeting or whatever. So it's almost like she's trying to create some sort of uh, turmoil there. But then lastly, at the very end of the episode, when Maureen and Charlie are having their little dinner meeting and Nick is outside watching, I'm like, something is going on there between Nick and Maureen. So she might be the one that's sending true. the text messages. I don't know. That, that's my prediction. Ooh, Ooh, like that is good. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many possibilities. Yeah, I Anything know. else before we wrap up? Up. Any last words? I still want to know why Nick is beat up. That's it. That's all. That's, Ooh, that's all I want to know. All I want to know. <laughs> Maybe Fada punched him in the face. Who knows? Not <laughs> the Fada. Not the Fada. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. We apologize again for a late and short show. It was a little bit out of our hands, but we tried to do our best. Uh, can you guys tell the people where they can find you? You can find me on Instagram at Pink English as well as on Twitter, English Speaks. You can find me on Instagram at Hotshot Dude and on Twitter at Hannah Kathleen Two. All of my social media: Instagram, Twitter at Robin Ayers, and you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Step Z with an F. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next week. We will watch the show unfold as you watch the show unfold, and we'll talk about it together. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Yay. Have a great night. Bye bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.